Okay, so this is the one where I get into spoilers, so be forewarned. I'd have to say this is probably the first film by Martin Campbell that I've seen that I've actually sort of liked. I'd, I'd say the, the two main reasons for that is the story and the execution. I, I like neither in uh, the first Zorro movie that um, with uh, Banderas and Hopkins. I didn't like Goldeneye, but that's a whole other discussion. But yeah, on, on the whole, it, it's not like his directorial style that I dislike. It's mainly just been the stories and the tone. I, I found his Zorro far too campy uh, for my tastes. I'm just gonna take these as I um, in the order that they happen to pop into my head. That uh, girl who um, knew his daughter, I'm gonna call her Jess Mastriani because I did watch that show. That, yes, that was me. On the, the um, her getting hit by a car, if you think about it, it doesn't really make sense, does it? How, how would the, the driver know exactly when she was getting out of the car? Um, but it was a good shock. It you know, it you know, it made us jump. I wasn't entirely sure that that accent that she did, I'm couldn't quite place it. The uh, um, another thing on accents, the um, the daughter, I didn't really notice, but I guess she didn't say a ton um, before that part. But you know, when um, when you see that video that she um, entered and. Just brief. Um, get, gotta love how those are always just like you know you just slide in. I guess she programmed auto start. I'm not sure we saw him like open something. Just you know when you record something vital for someone to see, make sure you you know program it to uh, with auto run so it won't be uh, anyway. <clears throat> the the when when you saw the video on the computer, she had a what I can recognize as a Boston accent. I don't know, some people might say it's overdone. i not a good judge of that. I haven't heard in, in anywhere near enough. I thought a little bit too much time and effort was devoted to showing um, Gibson like breaking the law and abusing the law, you know, saying, oh, I'll just, I'll say that I saw you pulling a gun and all that just over and over okay, we get it, he's abusing the law to solve the case and, you know, for his daughter, and it just felt a little excessive. I didn't think we needed to hear it, I don't know, five, six times. Now, this did lose me near the end. I think when, once it got to, it, it got to a certain point where it started just degenerating into nothing but these guys are responsible for my daughter's death I'm gonna take them down and just it stopped being about the mystery, it stopped being about ideologies or anything that it might have like hinted at earlier it was just you know these guys wronged me, now they're gonna die. And isn't Danny Houston, if that's how you, or Huston, I don't know how you pronounce it, isn't he too obvious of a bad guy? Does he ever play anything else? I haven't seen him play anything else. But yeah, it was just too black and white, in my opinion. From the first time you saw him, may, I don't know, maybe it was also because I had seen the trailer and that sort of hinted at, but just how could he not be the main bad guy? It was so obvious. Just from the moment you saw him, you knew that guy's gonna be the... I mean, if... If someone had told me that he lived through the entire movie before I saw it, I think I would have... I don't think I would have believed that person. It just it's it's too obvious. It it gets to be, you know, that formulaic kind of 
and it's just it's just dull. I am, um, and and it's very, and and with a character like Jedberg in there, you, I had hoped that it would go somewhere else. Um, but yeah, there at the end, it just you know, and he gets the guy to scream, uh, Carver or whatever the family name was. Uh, loud enough. Ah, that was him, and and we got the flashback. It was a little obvious. I don't know. Maybe they were really proud of the blood and guts um, from that effect and wanted to show it again. I don't know. So he shoots the guy, and he you know he pours the milk over. That actually, I thought that was reasonably good. I, I mean, I heard that some people like laughed at it, and you know, I personally thought that was pretty good. Um, I mean, it it didn't like get a strong response from me, but it w it was pretty good, and um, and it was definitely you know a good bit of poetic justice. I I liked it definitely, but then you know I, the the guy runs out and tries to get the pills. Not sure. Th I mean, wasn't it said that there was nothing that could be done if you got the whatever, and Mel shows up and then he just shoots him. I think it would have been more interesting if he, you know, forced him to die slowly from it. Um, you know, I mean, if you think about it, he uh, and the daughter and almost uh, um, Jedberg too, uh, really got it much worse than, I mean, he was just shot and he died in what looked like a couple of seconds, I don't know, I guess they felt that people want closure first and foremost and would want to make sure that they die and see it on screen, I don't know. But yeah, I just, I didn't feel like the ending really solved anything. Okay, so the, um, like the leader of this private company is dead, okay, that um, secretary of something or other is dead. The senator is dead. That's about it. I mean, I'm sorry. Were the were those you know four or five people the only ones who knew? I mean, is just how is anything solved? The company isn't brought down. Are we supposed to believe that those two discs? I I kind of got the feeling that one of the discs was the one of the video of the daughter. But how does that prove anything? Is, you know, I... She specifically said in the video, we don't have proof. That's why we're doing this. Maybe I got this wrong. Could be, but I got the idea that... I got the sense that the, um... Like, him seeing the daughter was part of the radiation sickness. And there was also that one line, Winstone mentions seeing his, his father. Does that mean that Winstone was also uh, also had the radiation sickness? We know he was terminal. He um, that's pretty well established. We don't really know from what. And what wh were the visions supposed to mean anything? They kind of didn't. They didn't really. I mean, okay, the kid's cute. I'll give him that. The kid wasn't irritating, um, but it just didn't it didn't seem to have any impact. I mean, it didn't really seem to enrage him further. I mean, he didn't seem more tense after the visions than when he wasn't having them. He didn't, um, you know, and it wasn't like they didn't do the accusatory thing, you know, with her showing up with a big bullet hole and saying, you, it's your fault, why didn't you take the bullet? Something, you know. I don't know, what was the, um, and what, what was the point of the title? Um, I mean, this isn't, like, a major complaint, and maybe I just missed it, but apart from Jedberg mentioning, uh, it's the darkness, I can't stand the darkness, or whatever the line was, that one time, what did it really have to do with Edge of Darkness? I don't know.